Jenna Saylor with Van Every Family Chiropractic Center located in Roarlook, Michigan. And we're going to adjust Jennifer. In. Hello. <laughs> As you can see, I'm 19 weeks pregnant right now and I have triplets. Two girls and a boy. Um, Dr. Saylor and her KST have been the key to my successful pregnancy thus far. Um, everybody was telling me that it was going to be really hard and triple hard with the triplets um, and that I might be on bed rest by this time and as you can see I'm doing great. She actually, you actually came in the other day and said I don't even feel anything I feel wonderful. And it's I like, felt normal. <laughs> I feel normal yeah it's like you are pregnant with three. Being so. here three days a week Dr. Saylor keeps me in check um, so I'm doing great. So, okay so let's check her out. So basically what we use is a technique called KST. Um, it is corn specific technique and basically you can see that being that she's pregnant and she's getting bigger as by the moment, um, we actually adjust her mostly in a standing position, occasionally in a seated position. It really depends on what she needs. But we don't really have to lay her down on the table unless she were to tell me like she's having problems when she lays on the right side. We would actually lay her on the right side, adjust her so the pain will go away that much faster. Um, but we always start patients in a standing position because most people, if you're going to get hurt or do something, you're going to get hurt in a standing position or fall or go from there. So we start here and basically what I'm doing is just accessing her energy, trying to find out what she needs and in what order she needs. So I'm going to start. With pregnancy, we tend to, this area is going to change the most because of the the actual belly so we tend to see a lot of changes through here and the tailbone too One of the things that a lot of times happens with pregnancy is the diaphragm can get twisted. The baby's going to tend to take as much room as they need, so the diaphragm sometimes comes up, the ribs are affected, the pubic bone, it really depends on what shows up. So to adjust the diaphragm, we're just going to go along the front here. Nice and easy. And basically what happens, the easy way to think about the diaphragm is think of it as a balloon. And if you have a balloon and you push on one side, it's going to get tighter on the opposite side. So a lot of times with the babies, or baby, it'll actually push one side of the diaphragm. And that's going to cause shortness of breath, it's going to cause um, tightness, it can cause some indigestion, a lot of in intestinal stuff um, that traditionally people think, oh, it's just pregnancy. Well, we can actually work on it. We can actually help it. So we adjust for the diaphragm. And then ribs tend to, especially on the outside and the lower ribs, um, especially a lot of times you'll feel a foot up in the rib and it takes your breath away and that's a rib. And we can actually adjust it for it. So we're gonna adjust the rib. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Okay. And then the pubic bone too. The, one of the big, thing, big things with the pubic bone is when it's nice and balanced, everything works good. There's no pubic bone pain, there's no pelvic pain, there's no sciatica. But when the pubic bone can actually get twisted a little bit and we can adjust it really quickly. Um, the really cool thing with getting your pubic bone adjusted is that um, it takes about three hours off the normal delivery time because Jennifer is due with triplets. We're not probably going to go for a natural <laughs> delivery, but that is the average. And we see a lot in our practice where moms that have been adjusted on a regular basis, their delivery is awesome, everything, it works like it should, everything's balanced, and actually really, really easy deliveries. So we're going to go down really low. I'm going to have you put your one hand on your pubic bone, and then come up underneath your fingers, and adjust right on the pubic bone. Good. Awesome. Thank you. And because she's been getting adjusted on a regular basis, she has very little. So what we're going to do now is, and we've been doing this since the very beginning. We, um, at the very beginning, we didn't know she had three, but we were focusing on what the babies needed. Um, and so we have baby A, baby B, and baby C. And they've kind of named themselves. So <laughs> we're, what we do is we basically start with baby A and see what baby A needs. So I change my thinking and say out loud that we're focusing on baby A right now. So, 
we're going to adjust for what baby needs. And we actually use the mom to adjust for what the baby needs. So baby Aid needs a little room. <laughs> There with baby A, so then we change our thinking to baby B. Baby B is great. And now we're going to change to baby C. So we'll go up to the parietals for baby C. Babies are clear. Make sure they're done. There we go. Yay. They're all good.